Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today we are going to be reviewing G Fuel Tropical Rain, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the PewDiePie Shaker Cup. Remember, before we start this video, hit the subscribe button and the like button. Now, I just got off of reviewing the Tropical, not Tropical, I just got done reviewing this bad boy right here, Summer Days, so make sure you go look at that video real quick and see what flavor I did. So today we're going to talk about Tropical Rain, which is what I have right now. I just finished a great stream for Extra Life. And so I was drinking this during my stream. We have the PewDiePie Senior, what I like to call it. It's the Tall Boy. It has another 26. It's a 26 ounce, I believe. So the design right here, it's pretty great. Has the PewDiePie chair that we all know and love. At least the background for the chair. And then it's a glow-in-the-dark shaper. We got complementary colors of red. Red on the G Fuel label. And lastly, the little shaker device is red as well to give it a complementary. Now, we are doing the Tropical Rain. The original reason why I bought the Tropical Rain right here was because of the color. I see a lot of it being streamed and advertised as well. That people enjoy the tropical rain. Um, it does get a little bit concentrated. I will tell you immediately. So I do usually two scoops for the tall boy. Um, I feel like that's a good number. I had to reduce it down to one and a half. It's just super intense. So one and a half still gives it a nice powerful flavor. It's a little bit on the artificial side. And then we see we have like pineapples, kiwis, uh, raspberries. I don't get any of that in it. So we're going to do a quick swig. It's really unique on its own. I don't get any hints of blueberries. Um, there is some like hints of, there's a stronger flavor of a uniqueness itself. The best way I can compare it is to a Capri Sun of the Capri Sun of the Tropical Fusion. Um, there's just like darker flavors in there, so that might be like some of the raspberry. There's no tartness to it, so that's really good if you were afraid of the tartness. There's some pineapples for sure. Not much of the kiwi. I think that's just for a design. It does have the teal kind of flavoring, so if you don't know, like blue itself, the dye for it has flavoring itself, which um, it's starting to... I didn't use as much, but you can still see some of the fogginess. I don't know if you can on stream. Let me see if that focuses in. There you go, focused. There's a little bit of fogginess from it. It's really unique just because it's really unique because it has a flavoring of its own that I cannot describe. It has a lot of B12. I'm trying to see. So that's a lot of berry. There you go. That's a, um, the one I'm looking for. It has a lot of pomegranate. pomegranate. Some grapefruit. Oh, so there's a whole listing here. Let's see. It has cabbage, palm, berry powder. Never seen that fruit. Pomegranate fruit, pineapple, apple, orange, Blueberry, grape, strawberry, watermelon, lemon, lime. I feel like what they did was grab all the G Fuel, um, all, like their bases for the G Fuel, just threw them all together, and this is what they got. And they called it Tropical Rain. It is more of the Tropical Rain. It is experience that you need to taste for yourself. I cannot describe it as best as I can. I do taste a lot of the powdery. Um, it has more powderiness to it and artificialness. But I would say, like, the pomegranate does stand out. Um, the apple does stand out. Raspberry. Uh, so that kind of fusion bowl. But that's all. I really did enjoy it. It's going to be in my top 10. Um, for top 10 for right now, I'm going to leave it. It could even make it to the top 5. This is one of the ones I've lo learned to love to enjoy. I'm going to give it a 6, just for the powderiness and not able to tell what it was. And it's also a little bit architecture, um, artificial, but it is unique to G Fuel. So I feel like a state, for me, a six is safe to say on this one. 
But yeah, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Drop some comments down below. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you next time with another G Fuel review.